one approach that is helpful to me is that I think Paul certainly assumed that Adam was a person and the progenitor, let's say, of the human race. Um, and I would expect nothing less from Paul being a first century man. And again, God speaks in ways and uses categories that are available to human beings at that time. I don't expect Paul to have had a conversation with Francis Collins about the genome project and how common descent is essentially assured scientifically. I don't expect him to understand that. Um, does that then sort of violate the theological point that Paul is making of connecting Adam and Jesus? Um, and more importantly, does the, um, let's say, the non-literalness of Adam affect the non-literalness of Jesus? And uh, there I think, you know, Christians would pretty much come down and say, well, absolutely not. The two are not connected in that way. In Paul's mind, there may be a more organic connection. But um, talking about the, um, let's, I mean, to use common terms, the non-historicity of Adam, a person of antiquity, a story of antiquity that even in Paul's time was hundreds and maybe thousands of years old, and Jesus staring you in the face, um, how you handle this does not determine how you handle this. And more importantly, how Paul handles Adam does not determine um, modern scientific discoveries about the origin of humanity. Paul does not determine that issue for us. Paul is a first century man, and what he says about Jesus and Adam has to be understood in that context. Music